there. Tell me, do you know all your ABCs? <laughs> I'm kidding. Today, we'll play the most trendy letters of the English alphabet. They are awesome. Just look at these letters I and E. Are you already familiar with these funny guys? Then give them a thumbs up. And now get ready. Let the fairy tale begin. First letters of the alphabet are more famous than the president. A. B. C. If you put them in the right place, essay paper you can ace. <laughs> They're neighbors and good friends. Letters D and E. Oh, yes. D. E. F. F got angry. Now she speaks. I'll no longer be the six. D and E, you're coming with me. To the darkest dungeon of them all, letter F has gotten its toll. We don't need no ABCs. F is better. Follow me. F is angry to the core. Knock, knock, knock. Open the door. G is our villain's friend. She sure knows her angry trend. G, you go faster, my girlfriend. What is that? Is that a cab? C. A. B. A cab. Who will win this racing tour? Roll the dice in luck, be sure. Yet not ready to give up, F took I into her grasp. I. I. There's no time for letter mourning. Roll the dice and we'll keep going. Letter F, grab letter K. This is defo not okay. <laughs> There's a lot on letters played. Who'll save them till it's too late? We will see what's coming next after a one minute rest. It looks challenging a lot to delay F evil's plot. Look at these courageous guys. They're no longer in disguise. X. C. B. R. Friends are here, foot to foot. These are shells for F to shoot. I might be evil and a liar, but I don't care, so I say fire! You are down! I'm out of here! My victory's already near! F did this, and it's for sure. Hopefully I know the cure. H. While some letters were distracting F, others got into her dungeon in an alphabetical cab. We'll have boosters on the road. No one ever will be bored. First step takes the friend named N. He's the bravest letter man. He will fight until the dawn. But suddenly, the rest were gone. You. M. G. Step by step and N succeeded. Is this true? Is F defeated? <laughs> you wish! <laughs> Whoa! Is this like a little hunt? Ew. M. N. O. P. Are these letters for the Hulks? Who is this surprised and shy? We'll keep going, little guy. Go. Wanna see the coming page? Then stay tuned for the next stage. Let's take a little break from chasing F. I have all the pieces here. Let's get to it. Looks cool, isn't it? I love puzzles. And you? Give a thumbs up if yes. Now make yourself comfortable because we'll continue. The leader of the letters got lost. Oh my. Who's gonna help him? Or at least try. M. P. It's M and P on the way. But something's missing. Letter A. Now we have just what we need. 
Come on, everybody. Let's raise the speed. <gasps> wow. This is kind of a tricky quiz. We have a helper. Letter G. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And just like that, I guess I've got it. To the cab. This dream team's eyes are on the prize. Let's see what's next. Whoa, what a size! <laughs> Friends, check this out. It's letter B. Get on your mark. And one, two, three. Phew. Have been paused just for a while. And we will color. Alphabet style. <laughs> I'm gonna work. And you relax. But promise that you'll give thumbs up. S. U. E. That's fun indeed. But let's proceed. And here is yet another game. I wonder who'll get all the fame. H. F. It's not a simple tic-tac-toe. Who is in here? A friend? A foe? <laughs> um. G. Evidently, M has won! Bravo! Woohoo! Yes! But let's better put all this in place. Do you like this book? Hooray! Give your love to letter A. Here we have the game with... Oh. We'll put her here. And throw the ball. This was fun, but let's go ahead. Here's the very last page spread. Angry F is here, but the letter cab is near. We'll know the winner by throwing the dice. <gasps> it's a six! This will suffice. F takes her steps, but we will see. Our letter cap is getting three. One, two, three. Hey, villain F, we all see you. Friends, save the letter. W. It's always better to see eye to eye. Good letters win. They meet their... Why? Oh yes, we won! We saved everyone! But what's up with Z? Next time we will see. Well, how do you like my version of the alphabet? <laughs> do you want the same playbook? I'll show you how to make it right now. Let's start our craft by making a cover. On a thick white paper sheet, we'll glue this beautiful blue tin paper piece with the rounded edges. And to make everything look neater, let's draw a black frame. Did you miss this guy? <laughs> you can decorate the cover however you like. My book is called Alphabet Friends. And voila! Nothing complicated. To make a double page spread, take two sheets of paper and a paper strip like this one. Glue everything together and draw a black frame around the edge. You can choose my decor elements. I have these blue stripes. Let's cut out the window, where the letters will be stored. And glue everything to our playbook cover like this. And here are our letters. Just check out how well they fit in here. The snarky F lives right here in her mouth, Elfshmore. <laughs> And the chains for her dungeon are attached to ordinary Velcros. Next, we'll have our boarding game. Or rather, the route for our letter cab. Oh! <coughs> and here's the track. The letters that F is going to steal. And these are the letters for cab. Just a couple more dashes. If we cut out the windows, then this pocket is going to be glued. Smear the glue to the edges only. Let's also glue our letters onto white strips of paper and just put everything in its place. Do you remember our funny age push puzzle? Next, the darkness of the villain's cave. Although the sharp fangs of our insidious ass should still be visible. Aha, uh -huh, now we're talking. 
Here goes the exit. We should only add the track. And we can move on. The fifth spread is multi-layered because it has many windows. And decorative items as well. Here in the corner will be a curious letter Q. And behind the windows, if you remember, strong man letters are hiding. <laughs> what a cutie. Well, half of the playbook is done now. Give a thumbs up and subscribe. You do remember that the sixth spread was about puzzles, right? I'll just add a few cute curls and swirls. Here comes the envelope for the puzzles. Great! And these are our pictures. Now, it is important to cut them in accordance with these lines. Voila! Let's collect them and put away. As soon as we want, we can play. <laughs> the rhyme again. Oh, almost everything is ready here. Is this your doing, Mr. Q? <laughs> oh, you little trickster. Still, let me do something by myself. For example, I'm gonna draw these arrows. And a couple more little bushes. Otherwise, this page looks empty. The letters that we'll use to write the word map will go here. And we'll hide the map itself in this paper pocket. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> this is incredibly large and very hungry letter. Yum yum! <laughs> And on the second half, we'll have the same half, only smaller, imprisoned in a circle. Hop. Remember this guy? He and the strip both have little magnets on them. That is why he can easily run on paper. <gasps> Where did it all go? So this thing is magical? Wow, did you see that? <laughs> What's left is to put in place everything we can play with. Wait, wait, you're not from here. Get lost, huh? All your tic-tac-toe brothers are right here. And to the other page, we'll glue this simple mechanism. I don't know about you, but personally, I always liked it when playbooks had as many moving things as possible. That's it. All oh, right, I almost forgot. These are the balls for plain O. And finally, the last 11th spread of our playbook. Here's the start. And here, respectively, is the finish. Well, to make this game a little more interesting, let's add boxes with a catch. And these are our players! Just go here, little guys! Well, the last thing for today is the back of our playbook. It's made of foam board. A rolling eye is also made of it. And from a piece of a cocktail straw. Wow, check out how great it turned out! Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye! Hi everyone! Today we'll test this really cool craft. Oh, don't cry, big guy. I'll help you right away. We'll start with lipstick. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to become dentist for the next few minutes. Don't worry. I'll cure all your teeth so they stop hurting. Let's see. Hmm. <gasps> Did you know that everyone's teeth prints are unique? It's very interesting, right? Oh, there's so many germs. They have no place in the mouth. Come on, get out of here. Because of you, the teeth hurt. That's much better. The first stage is complete. What do we have here? Oh, I got it. Food that is good and bad for teeth. With an apple, there are definitely no questions. It's definitely good. And here's an interesting case. Milk itself is good, but together with chocolate, it creates an unhealthy sweet milkshake. It's so delicious. But we'll put it here. And chocolate, alas, goes here too. Look, if you add nutritious bananas to some milk and then freeze it, you're gonna get really bad for teeth ice cream. You can only eat it occasionally, which is a pity. I would like it the other way around. <laughs> Although bananas themselves can be eaten more often, and they're delicious too. You can also make ice cream from milk with berries. For example, with blueberries. That sounds yummy. Have you tried it? By the way, berries are rich in vitamins. Okay, let's finally put milk where it belongs. Oh, I remember. Milk is also used for making cakes. But the cakes are not so good. Oh, as well as cupcakes and other sweets. Here's a donut and sweet soda, for example. Guys, would you like to have such a snack right now? Oh, I would. But we shouldn't eat them too often so that our teeth and stomach didn't ache. 
That's why we'll note the candy right here. Although Sam would have argued about that. It's one, two, three, four nutritious products and not so good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, so they're more bad for than the good one. Well, let's not hurry. We'll even the odds right now. These have a lot of protein, almost like me. It goes here. Carrot's good too. It makes teeth strong. And let's add some fish. Oh, right, oranges. They make delicious juice. And greenery contains a whole bunch of useful vitamins and minerals. Look, we have fruits, vegetables, milk, and fish here. What a great variety. While here, with harmful for teeth drinks and sweets, there are far fewer options. So there are more good foods. Hooray! But now I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we can continue. There are pieces of food stuck between the teeth. You may have heard that little birds help crocodiles to get rid of them. We're gonna do it with the help of special tools. Hmm, let's define what these pieces were in the beginning. <gasps> the first one was an apple. <laughs> okay, now let's get this out. It's hard, because it's sticky. Uh-huh. So, what is this? <gasps> I know. Our character is a bit of a sweet tooth. <laughs> this is the same candy that can cause cavities. By the way, it's useful to use dental floss after eating to get rid of the pieces of food. Now we can move on to the lower jaw. This time, the first one in our list of dental treasures is… um… Oh, right! Pieces of healthy food can also get stuck in the teeth causing pain. That is why it is important to brush your teeth thoroughly twice a day. All right, I wonder what is this? Hmm… It's chocolate! Looks like this guy has hidden a piece of it in his teeth. Let's floss again. We should lead it from the gum up to the top. Like this. We dealt with the rest of the food. And now let's deal with the largest cavity. This happens when you don't brush your teeth properly. Now you know how many times you need to do this. People used to use coal and ashes for cleaning their teeth. But the toothpaste is nicer. And we need to go deeper to clean everything thoroughly. Only after that it'll be possible to put a filling that will close the cavity. Now nothing will hurt this tooth for sure. Let me just grab everything here. And well, that's it. The filling is like a patch. And soon the tooth will be as good as new. Hop. A bit more. And it's done. Great. We only have one step left. We have got to learn how to brush the teeth. We'll use a toothbrush. You definitely have one. So that the teeth didn't ache and cavities do not appear, it's necessary to brush thoroughly. Microbes also accumulate on the toothbrush, so you must change it every three months. We brush with sweeping movements from the bottom and up. Repeat on the other jaw too, from the gum to the crown or at the top of the tooth. Well, now you all know how to brush your teeth. Give us a thumbs up. Okay, this is it. The teeth are clean and healthy. We can put the brush in place. Look, our boy is no longer crying. Take good care of your teeth and you won't have to go to the dentist often. Sue, so, you forgot to tell our viewers how to make this craft! <gasps> Sammy, you scared me! I didn't forget. I just left this part for later. Now I can get into the details. Here I am choosing foam paper for our book. Join in! While well, I'm making sure no one bothers Sue, I am her knight! Oh my knight, can you help me make openings in these sheets? Easily! Give it to me now! I'll do everything quickly and accurately like this and like this! Alright, you can take it! Sammy, you're a master! These are the perfect openings for the fastening rings. It remains only to secure everything neatly. By the way, I even prepared a bunch more details for our book. Check it out! <laughs> wow, Sammy, you're so great! When did you only manage to do everything? Then I will take over the assembly of this part of the craft. I can do some stuff too, you know. And a final touch, the name, like this. Oh, but how do I attach this detail to the book? I have an idea. These are nails, door hinges, and stuff. Search in here! Um, Sammy, I doubt that these would fit. I have another suggestion. Let's take foam paper looks. They fit perfectly into the overall look. Uh-huh. So here comes this kid. Um, Sammy, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm picking the shirt collar for our boy. It's very important. Uh-huh. 
Uh -huh. Oh, so you'll take care of it. Excellent. Then I can just finish here. Of course, I'll deal with clothes. Who else but the money feed? Well, I trust your taste completely. <laughs> and I'm gluing the face of our daredevil who came to the dentist. All done. He should try this on. This is the latest trend. Wow, Sammy, such a beautiful outfit and it suits him so well. As the doctor says, say, ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's make the teeth. Otherwise, what will the dentist treat? And here comes the last details. Germs. Germs! Get out of here, you nasty little things! <laughs> oh, come on. Let's better continue with our book. Look at all these blank pages. Here we'll have two teeth and some food. Then I'll run to cook them. And you keep working on those teeth. Of course, someone has to. And what you gonna cook? I'm in the process of creating a culinary masterpiece. That makes it well. Are you done yet? Uh, Susan, I can't be distracted. Okay, okay. It's just I'm almost done and I can't go on without you. No problem. I'm all set. <laughs> wow, you've made so many things. We'll have a huge selection to play with. Hey, look at the time. It's lunch break. Friends, you wait for us, right? It's time to continue creating our book. Let's turn the You know page. what? Now it's my turn to decide what will be here. <laughs> sure, Sam. And if you like our book, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Wow, Sammy, you did an amazing job. But these images is not yet complete. Let's add just a few things. Susie, stop doing nonsense. I have everything ready to get going. If you say so. I think we still need one big tooth with a cavity which we will treat. And I'll get everything ready for our dental drill to work. <laughs> I'll put this here. And here's our big, sad patient. Now let's add the carious indicators. It'll be easier to remove this one than the real one. And we're done! It remains only to fill the last page of the book. So, look what I've got! A super duper toothbrush! And we'll definitely need it. You can test it for now. Ah, help! Help me, somebody! Come back! I want to brush your teeth with my super brush! Sammy, plush toys don't have to brush their teeth. Oh, oh, oh! Come back, you! Your teeth gotta stay healthy! Sammy, a few people love dentists. Clean our boy's mouth. He can't run away. Don't rush. <laughs> he doesn't have any teeth yet. Now let's quickly make him some so that I can start doing my difficult work. Uh-huh. Now you are a hard worker while I was doing all the preparations. And this is still mine. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, I'll get these teeth ready for brushing. Right now, I'm playing the role of evil microbes. <laughs> Not yet! Let's fix the brush on the page. Uh-huh. Well, we did it! Our dental book is ready. Hi guys, today we're going to make a wonderful photo album. We have a lot of work to do, but it's worth it. That's right, Sammy. Let's get started. Susie, I found a cover from an old notebook, so I thought it would work perfectly for our craft today. Yay! Then we can move right to the most interesting parts, the decor and the contents. But first, check out its size, guys. The main thing here is not to make a mistake in the measurements. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the best slime of them all? Hey, it didn't answer. I know the answer. It's you, of course. <laughs> I was thinking I'd make a camera lens separately to create a 3D effect. And Sammy read my mind at that very moment. <laughs> Boring. You better make use of my brand new stylish necklace. If you're bored, you can bring me some colorful beads. I'm on my way. 
Bullseye! Good job, Sammy. This goes here. It reminds me of cake making a bit. <laughs> we'll come back to this later. And now let's take care of the contents. Don't take it personally, Sue, but I heard that photo albums usually consist of some pictures. But I see no place for them here. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. We've been friends for years, and you still think I can only make something ordinary. The pictures are going to be in little envelopes. Do you mean like mail? Exactly. And you did a great job with them. There we go. I was thinking, maybe we should write something up above like you got mail, huh? Wonderful idea. So the first page is ready and we can move on. Sam, where is my ribbon? <gasps> gotcha. Whoa! <laughs> Sammy, just like always. You're lucky to have me by your side. Otherwise, you'd have to walk around all tied up. <laughs> now we can put some pictures inside and then close the shutters. Stop! Sue, let me do that! Are you sure you won't get tangled again? Pretty please! Okay. Wow, Sammy, you did great! You even made a cute pendant. What do you think, guys? If you like the first page of our photo album, give us a thumbs up! And now we'll glue the last piece on the flap like we did three times before. Let's place another ribbon right here so we're able to close these cards. Did I arrive in time, Miss Susan? Could you be more specific, Sammy? You haven't glued the pictures yet, have you? No, but why? I told you so many times, Sue! Oh, okay. Let it be a surprise. This side looks like a gift box. Actually, it was my idea. But I wanted to do it a bit differently. Really? Then go ahead and tell me. Okay, look. We need to take this piece and fold it. Ah, I think I've got it. Oop. We'll just make nice and neat creases one centimeter by one centimeter in size. Well done, Sue! Guys, you're probably wondering where we'll put the pictures. And we'll answer, you'll see! Sue, do you remember the surprise? Don't turn these over yet. Okay, okay. We need to apply some glue on each crease and attach one card with a picture, like this. Here comes another portion of glue. And another picture. I think you got it, guys. Sue, here, I've made the second page. Now this goes here. Awesome. It looks so unusual, but it was so easy to make. Here comes the last touch. Oh, I must say I like this page the best. But we still haven't finished yet, guys. Stay tuned. La, 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 and voila! That's how you do it! Sammy, did you start without me? I've made the fastener, but I can't figure out how to secure it. I know one way. How about a Velcro? Aren't you a genius, Susie? Are the pictures ready? Have I ever let you down? Actually, more than once. <laughs> oh. Wow, it came out awesome. And the caption should be good times, because there are pictures with all my looks inside. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! We're nearing the finish line! Sammy, do you mind if I choose the pictures for the last page? Let's see. I've chosen 21. Yes, it would be fair if you chose a couple. Oh, that's so nice of you. But two is better than nothing, right? We don't have time to complain, Sue! Let's assemble our album! That's right! I can't wait to see the result, too! At this stage, guys, be very careful! Here we go! I recommend you asking an adult to help! Because a screwdriver is not a toy, one can easily get hurt! Now one more opening and... done! Now it's time for a trick! Boom, boom, boom! 
I'm ready, Sue. Let's get started. Yes, that's right. Sammy, I need some space. But Sue! Sammy. Okay, then. You finish the craft. And you guys, feel free to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and now I solemnly declare that we're done. That is what I call an incredible craft. Let's look at it in all its glory! Sammy, where are you? I'm here! It's time to check out our album. Oh, Sammy, these are so adorable! Here we've made the Among Us craft. And here we had <gasps> fun experiments. Ooh, the window! Sue, wait, wait! What's in there? It's you in a Dracula outfit. Awesome! And here we did more fun experiments. So cool! Memories and cookies go really well with each other. You don't need a reason to have a cookie. I approve. Wow, what a cool hat. Oh, and this one. <laughs> yeah, I like wearing hats. Actually, I've got quite a collection of them. Well, are you ready for the best crafts? You've chosen really cool pictures, Sammy. Oh, what pleasant memories. Sue, are we really on the last page? I can't believe it! Don't rush, Sammy. We're taking our time. I like these photos so much. Check these out. It is heartwarming to see pictures in a real photo album. 